Led by the Night King, the White Walkers quickly advance south and attack Last Hearth, massacring the population and adding them to the Army of the Dead. Ned Umber is found pinned to a wall in the middle of severed arms arranged in a spiral, which Beric Dondarrion deduces is a message from the Night King himself. They burn the boy's corpse when it suddenly reanimates. Winterfell prepares its defenses against the Night King. At a war council, Jon Snow suggests going after the Night King, referring to Beric Dondarrion's earlier plan during the White Hunt. Bran Stark, as the new three-eyed raven, offers to use himself as bait to draw out the Night King and lure him into a trap. Bran explains that the Night King will come after him because he wants to erase world, and the is its memory. When the Battle of Winterfell begins, the Night King directs his forces from Viserion in the skies above Winterfell, his lieutenants placed along the outlying forest. During the battle, Bran wags into several ravens to find him and lure him out of hiding. After directing his whites to move through Winterfell's trenches, which were lit on fire in an attempt to prevent the army of the dead from advancing, the Night King engages in a fierce aerial duel with Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen on their own dragons, Rhaegal and Drogon respectively, pursuing Daenerys on Drogon with Viserion's blue flame. The Night King flies down and blasts a hole in Winterfell using Viserion by burning down some of its walls, but is suddenly attacked by Jon on Rhaegal, who fights with the dead Viserion. Before the Night King can kill them both, Daenerys flies in on Drogon and knocks into Viserion. The Night King falls from his mount, landing hundreds of feet below. Circling back, Daenerys sees the Night King standing below. On her command Drogon blasts him with dragon fire, but when the flames clear, to her horror the Night King stands unscathed. Smirking, he hurls an ice spear at Drogon, but Daenerys flies off to avoid it. Meanwhile Rhaegal, injured from his fight with Viserion, collapses into the ground, and Jon Snow tumbles off of him. Jon charges at the Night King as he is walking towards the breached walls at Winterfell, but the Night King becomes aware of him turns, and calmly raises his arms to resurrect the corpses littered around them as whites. The dead all around the castle rise as well, and a new wave of fresh whites surges toward the defenders within. Even those buried in Winterfell's crypts awake, smash through the walls and attack the non-combatants huddled there. Jon, surrounded by fresh whites, is held off while the Night King continues to pursue his target, the three-eyed raven, Bran Stark. The Night King enters the Godswood of Winterfell alongside other White Walkers as the Whites finish off the remaining Ironborn defending Bran. Theon Greyjoy charges at the Night King, but the Night King stops Theon's charge, breaks his spear, and impales him, killing him. The Night King then walks up to the Three-Eyed Raven and glares at Bran as he begins to draw his ice blade to kill him. Suddenly, Arya Stark leaps at the Night King from behind with her Valyrian steel dagger. The Night King reacts in time turning and grabbing her knife arm while seizing her by the throat with his other hand. But Aya has one more assassin's trick up her sleeve. She drops the dagger, catching it with her free hand and plunges it into the Night King's chest, causing him to explode into shards of ice. His death starts a chain reaction as the other White Walkers shatter in the same manner and all of the Whites in the Army of the Dead and Viserion collapse to the ground, free of the curse that kept them reanimated. The Night King's death marks the end of the Battle of Winterfell and the entire Great War with the living victorious. With the destruction of the Night King, the White Walkers become extinct, and the Long Night is forever prevented from returning.